think you're doing? Knock it off with the flames already. My boot in your butt? Shut up, woman. Start sleeping something. Then make me a sandwich. Okay. Oh, yeah, let, let me just beat you with this fishing pole. <laughs> Oh, you done? Already? All right. Yeah, one more shot, and you're dead. Uh, pow! And you're dead. Uh oh. Oh, I think. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. It's not, it's not you I'm worried about. I hear a suicider. He's getting louder. He's in my left ear. Where the hell is he? Oh, crap. He's too close. <laughs> the junk is a... Oh. Shit. I just took everything. Mm-hmm. That sucks. Yeah. Yep. Well, while we're here. God damn it. You want some? You can have some. Stop chasing me. I can't I can't tell if I'm dying. I'm dying, I can tell. But just kill me already. Oh, I was using a damn fishing pole? Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Game froze. And then here I have been just tapping it. Probably for the last thousand hours. <laughs> I was like, how come this thing isn't better than that? I'm having too much fun. <laughs> this is how I am in real life, too. <laughs> the rain horse. It would be cool if you could get your companion on the horse, too. Oh, that guy's riding on his head! I wish I could clip that. I gotta learn how to clip while streaming. I really miss traveling like this. Walking the breadth of Skyrim. Yeah. <laughs> Some guy just yelled, Yeah! <laughs> but I, I don't I don't know. I don't think anybody got hit with that. <laughs> Doing. Knock it off with the flames already. Get my boot in your butt? Shut up, woman. Start sleeping something. Don't make me a sandwich. Okay. Oh, yeah, let, let me just beat you with this fishing pole. <laughs> oh. You done? Already? All right. Yeah, one more shot. You're dead. Uh, pow. And you're dead. Uh oh. Well, I don't. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. It's not. It's not you. I'm worried about. I hear a suicider. He's getting louder. He's in my left ear. Where the hell is he? Oh, crap. He's too close. <laughs> the, uh, the junk is a... Oh. Shit. I just took everything. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. That sucks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, while we're here. God damn it. You want some? You can have some. Chasing me. I can't I can't tell if I'm dying. I'm dying, I can tell. But just kill me already. Oh, I was using a damn fishing pole. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Game froze. And then here I have been just tapping it. Probably for the last thousand hours. <laughs> I was like, how come this thing isn't better than that? I'm having too much fun. <laughs> this is how I am in real life, too. <laughs> the rain horse. It would be cool if you could get your companion on the horse, too. Oh, that guy's riding on his head! Oh, man! Wish I could clip that. Gotta learn how to clip while streaming. I really miss traveling like this. Walking the breadth of Skyrim. That <laughs> some guy just yelled, Yeah! But I, I don't, I don't know, I don't think anybody got hit with that. <laughs> what do you think okay. You're Knock it off with the flames already. The show on the road. With my boot in your butt? Shut up, woman. <clears throat> Start sweeping something. Go make me a sandwich. Okay. Oh, yeah, look. Let me just beat you with this fishing pole. <laughs> That's for you new folk. Quick to me role playing. Oh. You done? Ready? Alright. Long story. Yeah, one more shot and you're dead. Uh, pow. And you're dead. Okay. Everything looks good. Is this thing on? So this is probably uh, episode two, season seven. I don't know how long it takes for him. That offhand, anyway. I think this computer's seven years old, though. This January. I did a 10 hour stream, it got me this far. Besides all the uh, early playtesting. Where's that dragon? There it is. I don't know if we can live through that. Let's give it a try. So I noticed quite a few views relatively quickly. Relatively quite a few views for a small streamer like me on my Twitch, but very few on YouTube. So, just a little plug here. You can watch all this stuff on YouTube without the internet provider glitches that 10 hour stream i did got broken up into a three hour and something stream a 22 second an 18 second a three minute a six hour the internet kept cutting out and it breaks up the stream it uh wrecks the quality 
but I make a real clean recording. So it doesn't matter what the internet does. I download it to YouTube and I put it in one hour increments, thereabout. You might get a you might get a cleaner shot watching it there. I've had mixed results. Sometimes I've blasted YouTube for saying Twitch had better quality and then vice versa. So you know you have to try that out yourself. I guess it depends on how Twitch wants to throttle whatever whatever. Sometimes this is a good good strategy. If you want to watch somebody's VOD, download it. Then watch it. That way, there's no buffering. It's on your machine. So, it's all on you and whatever quality of the recording is at. And when you're done watching it, delete it. You know, who wants to put them, you know, how many terabytes of VODs do you want to put on your machine? Let's try this uh, strategy. Coming in the back door here. A bunch of forsworn down here and a, a hag, hag graven. They totally kicked my butt. And there's the word wall right there. Right there. So, I don't have long range conjuring yet. see if I can reach down there. That says no. And if I put it there, he's not going to know what to do. He's just going to stand there. He won't be close enough to the enemy. Of which, if not... Oh, come on. Can I put him on the table? Or can I... Can I... Come on. What if I put them there? Okay, they've aggroed. They're shooting at them. That's that's a good thing. We'll go get them, Sparky. Are you gonna wait till they've killed you? Go get them! Go get them! I'm up to my knees. This is uncool. Oh, they're not in line of sight? What's... Come on, they shot you, dude. Get down there. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try something else. No, no one's here. Wait, don't tell me you can't reach. Is he alive? Come 
on, hit something. Those fireballs, those hag ravens use it. There you go. Dude, you woke up dead. Cool. That worked. Thanks, buddy. Took him a little while to get warmed up. Soup bones. Fury. I can't use it. I have no dragon souls. I did not activate the dragons yet. I'm doing a playthrough where I just don't want to deal with the tedious dragon fights every time I turn around. I mean, I've been there, I've done that. As long as after you tell the White Run Jarl that there's dragons and you don't go to the Western Watchtower with Illith, his Dark Elf House Carl, and the soldiers guards, white run guards. If you don't go to the Western Watchtower, it won't activate. Don't accidentally uh, walk through the neighborhood, though. got a mod that places easter eggs throughout the game. They're really cool. They're, they're like snow globes. Many different versions. Some have, there might be, like for this one, if there was one here, it might have a hag raven in it throwing a fireball with maybe a word wall in the background or not. Sometimes it might be just a dude in plate armor. It might be a dragon. It could be someone on a fish, uh, on a riverbank fishing. Just a, a bunch of I don't know what to call them. Just various scenes, items. So that's why I look so carefully. Uh, wh who who killed you? Oh, a bandit. Is this where I am? I look like I'm closer to this. There it is. For some reason the hitboxes are higher than the item appears to be. that is. I need human hearts so I can make those blood potions. Okay. 
enough enough time spent on that. Yikes. Oops. Yeah, I don't have any slots in lock picking yet. Although I don't know, I might have my score up to 20 or 30. I don't know what to say. 27. Oh boy. Usually if I hit those four quadrants. There, now we're getting close. Not just close, we got it. So if I fast travel to this place, oh, not what I had intended. Really didn't want to start exploration and open up too many threads. save this what I really want to do I've got so many during during like 25 hours of play testing and setting up all my mods I activated many quests and I've got so many books and notes and stuff here that I need to deal with None, I, can, I can't take any of these out of my inventory. Maybe there, there's one or two in there now, but I can't take any of them out until I deal with them. Okay, I understand this. This is cool. I don't plan on doing it for quite a while. Warrior's Challenge. Hendrahim, okay. Or Heim. I know what that is. We can go do that. We can go do that. And I might even live. It's a one on one fight, and uh, she's not easy. If I kill her, I get her house. Looks like a one page note. That is too. Let's see if the uh, see if it shows up on the map. Let's see. That's Let's see. Yep, that's it right there. Now I haven't been there, and it's hard to get to. This is a mod, I believe. It adds border posts between, yeah, it's a border post in between uh, whatever White Run and Markarth. That's a symbol for Markarth. And I wonder if on the other side we'll see symbols for White Run. No, I'm not 
too sure what that is. For some reason, these bodies won't despawn. They've been here a long time. Sometimes that happens in this game. Like if you know the game, you get those two Akiri agents looking for the Red Guard woman. They come just inside the gates of Whiterun and they ask you for information about her. Oh. Well, I'll take the hide. You look like a vagabond, just a poor street urchin. What's what's your deal? A mad woman. <laughs> what you got, mad woman? Don't go to the blue palace. The master is on vacation. Don't listen to their venom. Don't do it. Okay. So we got to get up to that place up there. And the terrain is sometimes your biggest obstacle in this game. Oh, looks like a hunter's been, uh, there he is, she. Okay. You can't hide from me. You'll have fun with that. And here's their camp. I'm not going to rob it. This is a nice home if you can defeat this uh, warrior. It's not a first level encounter. I remember having a lot of trouble with her the first time I tried this. Uh oh, am I, did I not? I think it's just over this ridge. I think I can get there from here. Yeah, there it is. It's one of those honorable duels. The anniversary edition has a few of them. Oh no, not cool. Not cool. Oh boy worry about stuff like this okay hey yo Ooh, she's a lot bigger than I am this character Siri from The Witcher. Small girl. Okay, I'll talk first. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I received your letter. I understand. I don't know, somehow she wants an honorable death. Gave me a good, pretty good whacking so far. I better not slow down. So many of these fighters, they come in with a power attack. And I've learned 
let them let them swing first just step in and dodge <laughs> let them miss <laughs> and then he starts swinging at their side or their their back circling them around circle around them while they just can't okay let's read that when the world was young things were simpler it was us or them we fought to survive and in death we found glory now we fight our own shield sisters and brothers for banners that change with the wind. How appropriate. When I killed the word on the battlefield, I vowed not to take up arms again. I found honor in this choice, but shame in its consequence. The bards do not sing tales of those who die in their homes, slain by time. If I am to see him again, I must stand eye to eye with Soon on the whalebone bridge and earn my place in the Hall of Valor. That's true. She's basically describing Valhalla, Nord Heaven. I miss you, brother. Wait for me in Sovngarde. Well, say hi for me. We'll get there eventually. I need to activate the dragons, though, before I get there. Completed, yeah. This is a nice home. I've got nicer. I've got the mods that are, hello, Harry, floating head, yes, and 50% and see-through. I like to uh, stream the way I wished everybody streamed. I may have explained it to you before. Don't cover up the game with all kinds of stuff you know yeah you know yeah I don't know I, 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 I seems to me I'm a minority in that case so this is what I use this house for basically is one of the pets I'll bring one of the pets here and make it its home If I really run out of space to store certain types of armor and weapons, I've always got that. Oh, this is one of those things. Oh, a, oh. Huh. An empty glass chip. I wonder if there's a mechanism where I can put something in the glass jar. I've never found a glass jar. A plain glass jar. I don't like to take things out of my homes or in places where I go often. I like, I like seeing the clutter, the, the ambiance, the setting. I don't like to loot all the stuff that's here. Wait a second, wasn't there a basement? Was there a basement here? It's been a long time since I've been here. I don't mind taking things out of bookcases. Oh my. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. I could make it though. I like to look for expensive books. Maybe there's a skill book. I'll read it, but I won't take it. No, leave the gold on the table, but I'll take anything out of that chest, but it won't let me activate it. Ah, 
bookshelf. I like these bookshelves that you can activate and uh, store books in. I've got a much better place. I got a place with a libra library. I bet it holds 200 books. It's a mod. But there is a really, I think probably the best anniversary home, the anniversary edition, is Meyer Watch. Let's see, where am I? Where am I? Here it is. Solitude, Morthal, Meyer Watch. It's basically a mage tower. But boy, does it have a lot of storage. Now, I didn't see a trap door to get down into a basement. Cabbage, you got to eat the lettuce. <laughs> this is not your Vasker. I'm not in Light Run. This is an anniversary edition home called. Rebdahim Hendrahim Hendrahim So there's Rorik's dad Here's White Run right here There's the Western Tower So you just zoom Right there Gives you an idea Where it is Falkreath Markarth Yeah, let's loot the containers. But you can't see what's in the container, so I don't mind taking it. I always worry that if I take things off the shelves like this, that it won't respawn. Not that I want to farm it. But I, I just like seeing the stuff there. I just like the setting. It just looks cool. So I don't like to take it in case it doesn't respawn. I suppose I could I could test, right? That bugs me. That bugs me when those those lids do that. But that is what it is. I bet you though, if I leave and come back, this will respawn standing where it belongs. I bet. I would bet. Wouldn't bet the farm, but I would bet. Any good books? Ooh. Now, a value of 50 tells me that was probably a skill book. Ah, I think one that I did not read yet. There's a mod. Because I knew I was going to play Siri, a female character, I changed all the mannequins into a female form. Now, last playthrough, I had a mod that instead of them looking rough like wood and 
whatever they looked like human beings they looked like they had skin and looked like they were just like frozen people that were alive not moving they looked really good they were a little glitchy though so I I left that one alone One time I saw a mannequin just walking around as a character. <laughs> I was scared as hell. One of the Hearthfire homes. I think it's the one. No, it's not a Hearthfire home. It's Bree's home in Whiterun. There's a mannequin down in the basement, if you build it. And it often appears three feet to the side, not on the stand, just in the middle of the room. But not walking around. Not walking around. Oh, here's the, here's the stairs to the cellar. I, I thought there was a basement to this place. Yeah, yeah, see this this is what's important to me. What goes up there? Shields or something? Yeah, shield rack. Yeah. And these are all for generic weapons, they're not for specifically named weapons. I like the storage for the special, unique items, like the masks and the claws and certain weapons and armors and all that stuff. Lagis's hip bone and the mask of Clavicus Vile, all that stuff. I like these special, uh, what would you just call them? Places where you get to show them off. Uh, exhibit. Yep, 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 yep. But I've got another home that I, I think it's the best one I've ever found for displaying all that stuff. It's actually a mod. And it's called the Lyceum. The Lyceum Estate, right next to White Run. It, it seems to include more. There's a few more things you can exhibit here. Back to the walking uh, mannequin. Finish up that thought. Got a mod. It's got a bunch of mannequins. If when I first build them, they're animated. They don't walk around, but they they're, they're standing on their pedestals. But they change their positions. They turn their. They watch you walk across the room. They follow you with their head and watch you walk across the room. They adjust their footing. They 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 change their stance. They'll put a hand up on a hip, They'll fold their arms. They're they're animated. It's creepy as hell. But if you leave and come back, they're solid again. They don't. They stop moving. And I've even seen that happen in a Hearthfire home. I think it's because of a mod I had that changed the mannequins. I, I don't really know. I don't really know. No, not the, no, not the map. We're doing the books. Oh boy. 
we just did this. We don't need to do this. It feels strange, hot and cold all at once. My hands shake, heart to write, so dizzy. I think I've been poisoned. Seems she got the better of me after all. Oh, that sounds like something I've already uh, started up. One of my other uh, favorite homes is a farm. Honey, Golden Estates. Here it is right there. Golden Hills. So, there's White Run. It's due west. Golden Hills. I won't, I won't tell the whole story for, spo for spoiler purposes, but uh, that note went along with this. You can get income from here. You can hire a couple servants, and if you keep going back, they'll pick crops for you, and you'll have cash. It, it, it makes income for you. No, not magic. Books, books. There be dragons, there be oblivion, the holds, the code, the, the, the stewards know. I apologize for the secrecy, but I'd rather not speak about this in front of the Jarl and the event of the immigration I received was incredible. Man, man. It's here where you received a trip or other potential. Oh, I, I know this one. I know this one. This is a hearth fire quest where there's an assassination plot supposedly aimed at the Jarl of White Run. I can't do this because right now the guardsmen and the house carl are have been activated at Western Watchtower. They won't this quest is unattainable until the Western Watchtower has been completed. I, I've tried to play it play it and it it, it won't. Yeah, that sounded loud. I set up a push to mute, but it doesn't work. So, I'll try again next time. Here's a million dollar idea. I'll give it away for free. We got to figure out how to do it, though. Chocolate milk that doesn't have to be stirred every time you want to take a sip because the chocolate settles out. You make a chocolate powder that will dissolve, will stay in suspension <laughs> without settling out. I don't know, most of you guys are probably coffee drinkers. I'm not, though. Does, does coffee settle out? I know Kool-Aid and lemonade does not. Stable hand, no. This was part of that conspiracy. Skeever trouble. This looks different. Listen, no one seems to be doing anything about it. I've taken steps to rid ourselves of this skeever problem. Please do not eat. Oh, I've done this one, so I can get rid of that. That's one I can get rid of. Ah. Recipes, I can get rid of those. Ah, fishing contest. Let's do this. I hereby challenge any who would read this notice to a fishing contest. Let us test our metal and place bets on who the greatest fisher this side of the Cart River really is. I shall match any wager. So bet as much as you dare. I warn you, however, that none have bested me. In fact, every challenger that has faced me has never set foot in Morthal again. I, yeah, that's true. No doubt, out of shame. No, for a different reason. Meet me on the docks if you think you're up to it. Don't bring a dagger to a sword fight. Just say it. Let's do that. 
Um, how do I activate that quest? Um, fishing contest. Okay. That sound is that a is that going to be a miscellaneous? No. First lesson, no. Catch of the day, no. Did I, um, well, I know where the fishing contest is. Maybe I skimmed over it and I just didn't um, didn't recognize it. I know if I go here. I don't know. I didn't need to do that. He, he came with me. I forgot. I, I think I have to meet this fisherman in town at Morthal. I think he sends me out to this fishing spot. And that's where things get a little hairy. I don't I don't know how to act activate this. Sorry, dude. What? sitting on a dock somewhere and I can just walk up to him and talk to him. <laughs> She's an alchemist. You can always tell the alchemist in town. There he is. I think this is it. Let's hear it. I'm here for the fishing contest. Are you ready to begin? <laughs> You're Brodius? I expected someone younger. You're just a feeble old man. I don't have to take that from you. You just did. Shall we make a wager then? How much? Little coin always graces the wheels. Or shall we hold the contest? Here's where you need to go. Meet Brutus at the fishing spa. Let's see what's on his what's on his character. Oh, I accidentally did that. I didn't mean to do that. He can't afford this. I'm not going to take his stuff. I could. Uh, I I had the wrong spell in Q. I accidentally threw that. I'd much rather have. Uh... Well, no, he's uh he's what I want right now. Yeah. Did you give me a, a quest marker? I don't see a quest marker anywhere. Now let's just follow him. Hurry up! Hurry up! Catch him! Stop with the animation already! Don't lose him! 
lost him already. Where'd he go? I can't throw that spell when I'm on horseback. Up oh, here he is. Let's see. Point the horse in this direction. Okay, old man. I'm ready to be ambushed. Don't run away, horsey. Oh, man, I'm dead. That happened way too quick. Way too quick. Okay. Let's make sure this uh, weapon is uh, charged. That's charged. I'm missing him. Tell you what, you start running so I can stab you in the back. Couldn't quite uh, turn this horse in a tight enough circle. Vagrant. I always wondered what that was. Is that a sect? Vagrant? Well, vagrant in the normal English means um, like homeless, indigent, no visible means of support, really, really poor and homeless, uh, a vagrant, someone who lives under a bridge, uh, under stuff like that. But those are nice looking robes. Yeah, he's got a nice ring on it. Let's read his journal. Fish. Oh, I gotta fish up the ring? Oh, I gotta catch the ring. The method is simple. Let them think you're about to make a bit of easy coin from an old man. Look at him. He can barely hold his fishing rod. They think I see it in his eyes. They're, once we're brought into the little, always yum, yum, yum. Oh, I wish I had lost my ring. I felt true power. It's a nice ring. I plan on putting it on. Maybe pick it back out of the stream one day. I forgot I had to fish for it. He 
Yuck. Worms. I got a touchy worm. I haven't done a lot of fishing yet with this character. I haven't uh, done those quests yet. We'll see if we get to them. That doesn't look like a ring. It's like a crap fish. Like a use it for bait fish. Throw it back fish. Or throw it up in the woods so you don't have to catch it again fish. Or bear it in your garden for fertilizer fish. Just bury it deep enough so the cats don't dig it up. Oops, that was a mistake. Oh, this is junk. Is it the ring? That's the ring. Well, let's keep fishing here until the fish are gone. Forgot exactly what that ring did. I don't think I'm wearing a ring right now. I don't think I'm. Oh, well. I'm wearing a fashion designer's ring. That's the ring that lets me change people's clothes. But, um. That's game testing stuff I don't do on stream. Uh, I can ch I can change that. I just don't want to lose it. That's a cool. Well, that's my that's my favorite mod right there. Fashion designer ring. Yeah, man. Come on, give me something other than these crap fish. And I don't mean a juvenile mud crab. Oh. Time to break tape. So I guess I'll get in the habit of using the end of these one hour increments as a opportunity to plug my YouTube channel. I see a lot of people relatively for my small stream room capabilities watch my my vods on twitch you might have a better experience watching them on YouTube so you're watching on twitch go to my home page there's an icon for YouTube just click on that that'll bring you right to my YouTube channel and you can watch all these things without internet provider flow downs breakdowns throttle downs out outright cutting out things like that if i stream for five hours you'll see a straight five hours you won't see interruptions and buffering and, and all of that and and sometimes sometimes youtube has better resolution or better quality I recommend downloading the VOD so you're not, it's not being buffered while you're watching it. In case your internet provider starts to throttle you down while you're trying to watch YouTube, I get that happen to me all the time. Download it, watch it, and then delete it. I think that's a great strategy. Enough about that, though. Okay, one more cast. Just to prove there's no fish here. I, I should know the answer already, but I've got my attention divided. I wasn't paying attention. No, there's no more splashing in the water. 
when the, when the bait hits the water, there's no more splashing. So there's no more fish to be caught here. Let's check out that ring. Bellevue Warlock's ring. While blocking creates a ward that protects against spells for up to 25 points. Oh, health regenerates 30% faster and you move 5% faster. Those are the two aspects I really like, especially the health. But if you make it a block bit, 25 points isn't shabby. I mean, 25 out of 100? Oh, wait. Well, blocks creates a ward that protects it against spells for up to... Oh, I see. Well, 25 points isn't a lot of protection. I don't think. Let's look at my destruction spells. I mean, Firebolt. Does 25 points of damage. This one does 8 points per second. So you're safe for 3 seconds. That's something. Something more than nothing. Oh, I don't think I put that ring on. Put it on. Now, if I wanted to continue to fish, I could probably just jump in here and catch the fish by hand. But I prefer not to do that. Where'd you go, horse? Are you where I left you? Where did I even leave you? I heard that. I tell ya. I love headphones with video games. That's stereo. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. What other books can we get rid of? That's what I really want to do, get rid of all these books. Missing Merchant. I think we need to do this. Investigate Trader's Post. Tall, able-bodied men and women of Skyrim. A merchant by the name of Gunther Frostfoot has gone missing. He was last seen in the area near Trader's... Oh. Oh. I know this one. I know where Trader's Post is. There's something re really, really sweet. I tell you, if you can do this quest when you're like level 1, 5, 10, and couple it with some other stuff. I'll avoid the spoilers until it comes. You can get some real powerful stuff. It's, it's almost OP. I remember having someone say to me, how did you get such a powerful item at such a low level? Yeah, that's how. Let's see, we gotta go to Windhelm. And there it is right there. But let's not fast travel to that place. Because you're gonna you're gonna show up in the middle of mayhem. Let's uh Let's prepare for it. There it is. They got archers. Oh, she sees me coming. Oh, they turned around and don't see me. Now one time I laid a fireball right in that right in that doorway and I killed a whole bunch of them. 
Come on out. Come on out. Oh, I got my fishing pole. Here's, I'm doing it again. <laughs> uh, the fishing pole is not going to cut it. Well, bring it on. Oh, geez, I just one shot at her. It's not letting them shoot arrows into me from inside the windows or the door. Come on out and play. <laughs> Got a unicorn sticking out of my butt. Yeah. Well, oh, geez, I'm one shotting these guys. I can't. I can't get the horse to go in the building. dead yet? I hear foot. What? The, those are big. Oh, it's a troll. Oh, geez, the trolls. Ah, no, the troll killed me. Ah. Holy crap. Holy crap. I thought that troll was going to be easy. Okay. Well. We had fun doing it that way once. Let's try something else. Let's see. There's a window up there that I don't want them to see me through. If I can throw the spell into the window, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to work. See the red dot? Oh, I can't jump. It's going to try to jump up and throw it on the floor. Oh, he stepped in the trap. Oh, he's going after the troll now. And there's some uh, zombies up there as well. Oh, it looks like he killed two things over there. I don't know what they were. One was a bandit. did you kill over here? Not yet the troll. Oh, what am I, overweighted? Oh, and I got the fishing pole again. Jeez. Let's see, Harry. Let's 
see how I am. <laughs> okay. The first time I played this uh, Trader's Post, Trader with a T, not a D. Trader. Not someone who sells good, but someone who uh, spies on their country or something like that. I got my ass beat. Bad. It was very difficult. Because I was like level 3 or something like that. Reader Webb's Journal. Erwan. E. Erwan's Journal. Too many words. Retrieve the Ring of Masur. I knew it was a ring. I didn't want to spoil it. The ring is a pretty, pretty good ring. I think it gives you like plus 10 or 20 or 30 health, magic, and stamina. You know, which is basically an increase of three levels. Actually, nine levels. So this playthrough, I can't hear straight away. Because I thought it was one of the most OP things you could do early game, is to come here and get the goods that you can get because of this. But this place wasn't ready for me yet. And knowing what I know about the game after playing it so much, I noticed certain things were in play or not in place yet. And I've come to the conclusion that when you start this game, you set things in motion. For example, there's a wedding in the game, which don't look the fully naked decapitation woman they don't like I'll uh, address that in a second the ring of Masur illusion spells cost 30% less okay it increases your st stamina by 20 and sneak is 20 okay I had it a little bit wrong it's a powerful ring but it's not the ring you want. It's what you can trade the ring for. But I just, the first time I found, see there's the, there it is. Purchase the armor set. A Daedric armor set at level three. Oh my God. So things get set in motion. There's a, a wedding. And there's some people that are traveling to the wedding. And you don't realize it unless, like, I bumped into them on the road traveling to the wedding. Another playthrough, by the time I got to encounter those people, the game was already had been started and played for a while. And uh, they were already at the wedding. So you're not going to bump into them on the road. I think that's pretty cool about the game. But it can be a downside in that if you're too late for something, 
something you're too late. It's been played. I like him, but you never know when the weight of the Inquisition hammer could fall over here. Well, you know, I'll, I'll explain that. I had a couple snowflakes complain. And I looked into it. I contacted Twitch. I read their, uh, their rules. And the way it was explained to me, it's okay. As long as, like, there's, there's a lot of things if done improperly too often sex violence nudity other banned subjects as long as it's not the center focus of the game like those nude characters when they take their armor I don't focus on that. You don't see me here dressed half naked, you know, like if I was a female trying to attract young men, watch my stream, you know, those streamer girls that do that, you know, the full body shot down to their ankles with the cleavage hanging out all over the table. Let's talk about that for a second. Well, let's not talk about that. But that coupled with the nude bodies coupled with the conversation that gets had starts to show a pattern of the central theme of the stream starts to become sexually oriented and that's a no-no I don't know if I'm explaining that very well as long as the central focus of my stream isn't about sex and nakedness these occasional nude bodies. And you notice when I take their clothes off, I don't stand there and stare at them. I don't pick them up. I don't prop them against the wall and spread their legs over a table and start making sexual positions out of them and piling men on top of women. You know, and none of those shenanigans. <laughs> you see, what I, see where I'm going with this? <laughs> I don't do that. That's not what this is about. So, it's okay. That's the way it was explained to me. Um, I was very, very forceful about it when I was contacting Twitch. I'm like, hey, you let me know. This is the mod I'm running. You tell me yes or no. Is this mod illegal? Am I going to get banned for this? And they wouldn't say yes or no. They just said, as long as the central focus of your stream is not about sex and nudity and vi that kind of stuff, it's okay. Hey, and maybe they change their rules. Uh, no one's, no one's, no one's saying anything to me about it. And hey, who's watching me, Mister? Uh, Four viewers at a time with 156 followers. <laughs> I'm probably the least of their worries. But, you know, point well taken. You, you got to be careful. I, I watch a lot of guys streaming, and they are so, so overcautious. So overcautious. I don't know. Fear. Jeez, and I almost missed this stuff over here. Okay, can we be done here? We can be done here. So now I got this ring that I can trade in for something really, really I wouldn't say it's really, really OP. I was going to. It's really cool. It's powerful. It, uh, for a level 
1 through 10 character having Daedric armor. I mean, how do you get that at level 10? How do you get Daedric armor at level... Well, I don't know. When's Daedric? When do you start finding Daedric armor? Level 25? Level 20? How fast can you get your smithing skill up to 100 or 90 when you can start making Daedric armor? I don't, I don't know. Anywhere. Anyway, I, 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 I'd answer that somewhere around the level 20. But if you can come up here at level 5 and take them guys, but then, where do you trade it in? When I first found that ring, like within an hour, I accidentally stepped right into it. Otherwise, it, it's it's hit or miss. There's the door right there. Oh, I, sh I should have fast traveled to the stable instead, maybe. I got two load screens here. I'll see if I can't trade it. Um, well, I'm overweight. Let's take care of that overweight issue. did I wear that made that come off? Oh, I would think I wore a, the mask that lets me breathe underwater. Circlet? Oh, no, this is, this is right. I thought this was this. Yeah, that's what I want. I don't want to wear this. I'll store that. When did I pick these up? That's the ring we want to trade. Let's favorite that. Just maybe that'll help me from dropping it, selling it. Throwing it in the bag of holding. Losing track of it somehow. And let's favorite that for the same reason. While we're here, let's try to get rid of as many of these books as it will let me. save after character maintenance. Oh, I thought that was going to be... Oh, they're here! I can't believe it! They're here! But where's their tents? Blessings of the moon, Safadi Traveler. Are you guys getting ready to leave? The warm sand of elsewhere is far away oh, from no. here. Is this, is this him starting to walk away? That's him. I welcome you, friend. Oh, How nice. Ah, I, uh, I understand you were sold a set of Daedric armor. That is the truth. You should trade it for this ring. It's just as valuable and easier to carry. This ring is a Kaji artifact. I think you should trade the armor for it. 
No, he, 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 I don't think he's going to have emotion. He's, he's a trader, man. It's about the dollar. That armor was stolen. <laughs> I traded for this ring before the guards noticed. <laughs> I'd like to buy it off you. 5K? No, no. You should trade it for this ring. It's just as valuable and easier to carry. How can I argue with that? Sweet. Sweet. Now, that's going to knock me out of character. Yeah, I kind of don't want to. Uh, I'm going to put it on just for haha. -ha. It's just to see how it looks. See what my armor class ends up being. 203? Not too shabby. Well, and, and this is the armor that um, I'm known for wearing on. Um, well, I'll show it. There's your artwork, Ari. And that's the armor. That's the armor I just um, hooked up with. Yeah, that's showing on screen. Yeah. And for you that yous that don't know, um, Air Four Manu, however you want to pronounce that, that's his artwork right there. Very fine gentleman and artist. So the lighting is poor right here. I get into the sun. Now. What time is it? Oh, almost 8 o'clock at night. Well, here we got some sun. Where is the, the moon, the sun? Yeah, you can see the red. It's, it's scale. It's not plate. But it, it really doesn't suit my character. Armor rating 158. I could get it higher. I need to um, enchant these items to get the armor class up. I mean, this this is um, this is series traditional garb. This is what everybody associates her with. I think. Not I do anyway. Matter of fact. Uh, let me do a quick. Well, I don't know if I can do it quick. I'm not going to do it. I've got um, some artwork on Siri. I just don't know the path to it. And I don't want to bore everybody with me searching through all my paths trying to find... Uh... What do you got going on? Good business on? for the East Empire Company means all the more gold for the Empire. Oh, okay. Well, you do that. Well, I. I, I, I. Oh, books, books. I need to get rid of these books. Look how many books I. I and none of these books will leave my inventory. That's just way too much clutter. Stewart's no. Okay, the stable hand and skeever trouble. Skeever trouble. I did that. Why did that? Why did that not leave? Quest item can What? What? Let's go back to that site and see what's what's up with that. That was in White Run. Let's go here. Got another million dollar idea for you guys. Give it away free again. 
just have to do it. And maybe it's been invented already. You've heard that everybody knows about ice cubes. How about a hot cube? Something you put in a microwave for a minute or two, get it steaming, boiling hot, and then throw it in your coffee and it keeps your coffee hot. This is where that skeever thing was. I remember doing it. But maybe my character died now because when you leave the door, it does a save. I remember doing this. I, 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 I remember storing the, the cheese. <laughs> but there were some poison cheese. Oh, the poison cheese is back. And the skeever's back. Did this respawn or um the priest here lost his amulet of RK. Oops. And he wanted me to come down here and find it. Stay lane. was right here on one of these wreaths. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It blended in really good. I never saw it. Uh, I just saw the reticle light it up and give, it, give me the the white letters like a take got oh, it said a amulet of rk weight value i never saw the thing but it was sitting on one of these so yeah it appears as though i've done this oh and here i'll take the silver but just so i can make uh i've got a, a mod that lets me smelt down things like that and i can make silver ingots out of it There's another, I hear bones freaking. Yeah, he's behind that door. I don't, I don't, I don't think I. Well, I thought I dodged that. I still took damage. This is basically a level one quest. You don't get much value out of the treasure. The guy, I even remember, the guy gave me 15 gold for the trouble. So I, I, I did this quest. I don't understand. Uh, every once in a while that happens. And uh, over time, the game finally smartens up and realizes catches up with itself and um, then finally allows you to drop it off the list. Now, these linen wraps I save. This character is still a seamstress. She does take linen wraps and make some fancy robes out of them. Dude, you got your amulet of RK on you? You and me. We're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Well, you're half right. I spend so much time among the dead, I sometimes forget how much I miss the company of the living. Oh, I don't have that ring on anymore. That's why I can't get into his inventory. What's it called? Ring of Fashion Designer. He's got his, he's got it. I'm not going to take it and then give it back to him. I could take all his stuff and his character won't even know I did it. That's how this ring works. 
Okay. Well. Let's go back to the Warlock ring. And we'll just have to ignore her. Her trouble. It won't let me drop it. Okay, well, moving on. Fishing contest. It won't let me drop it. I've, I've done it. I did it. Is that how, is that how that's going to be? Okay, let's just carry on and do them anyway. Missing merchant. We just did that. Well, it let me drop it. We'll pick it back up and... S oh! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. That's how you save that. I like to... I like to save those things. It's kind of like a record of the stuff I've done. Evidence, hard evidence in game, not just looking at my combat record sheet in the index of the player player stats. Uh, books, list of fair weather fish. Carp, glass, goldfish, hogfish. I need the glass fish. Let's um let's chase that down. Catch of the day. This is it right here. Catch it. Obtain those fish. Okay. So. Let's go fishing. Let's start. tape 43 minutes ago okay well I'm gonna do it right now